Well, the hub was really the brainchild of Brian Goldner, who's the CEO of Hasbro. And Brian is, uh, I've known Brian since the, Brian we hired as a consultant when I was at Fox to help us with Power Rangers. Uh, he was with uh, a major advertising agency. So Brian is now CEO of Hasbro and, and doing an amazing job. Brian had a vision for uh, having a distribution outlet to represent his shows, not exclusively. And he went to Discovery. Discovery Kids was struggling. Uh, they really hadn't, I think they'd done a good job with Discovery Kids from a branding perspective, but they didn't really have, a, it, it was an oddity of the, all the Discovery channels, channels were reality programming primarily, non-scripted. So Brian got the idea. He, look, he was looking for a channel to buy or to, to create a joint venture. So he, he went to Discovery and they originally, they came up with the idea of doing a joint venture and they made a business deal. And after they made the deal, then they started looking for a CEO. And um, Brian called me one day and asked me why I didn't put my hat in the ring. I was running my own company. Was that the hatchery? The hatchery. And uh, I said, uh, I don't know. I, you think I ought to put my hat in the ring? He says, yes, put your hat in the ring. What's the matter with you? <laughs> <laughs> so I did and uh, got the job. And it was a, uh, a great gig. I enjoyed it. We did a great job on some of our shows. The new My Little Pony show was fabulous. The Transformers looked great. The shows we did were really good shows. But Brian and I both felt that we had the opportunity to do maybe another Power Rangers. Maybe something we did would blow the socks off the kids, like Transformers. We, they did a beautiful job in producing Transformers. But something had changed that neither of us early on recognized. We did, after we got into it, we recognized that. Eight, nine-year-old boys no longer buy action figures. They play video games. So the audience for those shows that would buy the toys has gotten much younger. Little girls have, there's some changes there too, but My Little Pony still worked because of the way it was written and the wonderful story editor did a lot of work on it and her vision really shone through. But. Um, I don't think Brian and I initially recognized how much that had changed and that we weren't going to do another Power Rangers. It just wasn't in the cards because the way the boys had changed, I mean the boy habits had changed. Mm. So this is a, a lot of, I had a great experience. They were wonderful to me. Um, it was challenging. It was challenging for all of us. It was challenging for Discovery. It was challenging for Brian and Hasbro. It was challenging for me. So it was, a, it was, a, it was an interesting experiment. We did some things that I'm very proud of. We had some very successful shows. And when I left, we were profitable and our ratings were up. 